Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is TrophyNet, and welcome back to Mass Effect Andromeda. We're on at uh, Kadara Port, and uh, well, I've been busy in the meantime, uh, building towards Liam's loyalty quest. And for that, we need to place an outpost on each and every planet. I've placed one in the meantime on Aladdin, right next to the Krogan uh, city of New Tachanka. But uh, for Kadara, we need to do a few more missions. Uh, the first of which we're going to do is a murder investigation. So somebody was killed here. I think it's an Angara. And uh, let's uh, scan his corpse as a start. He's Angaran. There are multiple lacerations on the face and abdomen. Another body? I don't get paid enough for this shit. There's been more than one murder? Seven by my count, but that's all I know. Perhaps Mr. Vidal would have more information, Pathfinder. Mr. Vidal in the... Hmm. He was in the bar before, but apparently now he's... At the slums, maybe? Speak to Reyes about the murders. Where is he exactly? Because if he's down... It looks like he is down. Maybe I should uh, check out the other quests first. So give me a second and I'll check the logs. Seems like everything else is also downstairs, so let's head towards the slums. Now that that's done, perhaps you could speak to Reyes about the murders in Kadara Port. Now that what is done, Sam? I never actually went inside of the slums before, because there's a, an entire area behind here before you go outside. And I never checked that out, because apparently it's larger than I thought. Uranium. Thank you very much. Let's go inside of the building, I suppose. It wouldn't do to just be walking on top of the building. Let's go over here. And I think Reyes Vidal is the guy we talked to before. Tell her to call later. I'm drinking. And leave the bottle. Yeah, I think he's uh, Ryan, yeah, he's the guy we talked to glad before. You're here. I'm sure you've heard about the murders. There's a fresh body outside Kralas. Some of the locals say it's the charlatan's handiwork. I don't buy it. The charlatan is discreet, careful. Whoever did this wanted the bodies found. It's Making a, a signal statement. then, yeah, a statement. But to who? Could be no one? What? Or Sloan. But probably to Sloan. The killer could be unhappy with how Sloan's running things. Less than a third of the victims are outcasts. No. If I was the betting man, and I am, I'd say it was the Rokar. Why would a Rokar be in Kadara port? It's Angaran built, and before Sloan, Angaran run. I think the Rokar came here looking for new recruits, and things got out of hand. And the, Ang the Rokar don't really like aliens, well, aliens for them, walking around their structures, probably. Um, they have no leader anymore. Axul is gone. The Rokar are no longer a threat. There are still plenty of Angara who hate outsiders. And what about the Angara victims then? And the Angara victims? How do they fit into your theory? I did some digging. All of the deceased Angara were public Milky Way sympathizers. That fits. So the victims either were from the Milky Way... Or supported us. It's the only pattern I could find. You could be right then there. An Angaran port run by aliens would be a prime target for their cause. Problem is, I've got no proof. And the Resistance doesn't want to antagonize the Rokar. Obviously. I'm guessing that's where I come in. I need that fancy AI of yours to scan for evidence that could implicate the Rokar. People are scared, Ryder. This is your opportunity to win friends in Kadara Wait, Port. How, how the fuck is this a fling? How is this a romantic relationship? Um, so I'm a detective now. Looks like I'm adding detective to my growing list of titles. Detectives find things. And you're... A pathfinder. Yeah, I got it. One of the crime scenes isn't far. Give me a call when you get there. Oh, wow. okay, that was a weird movement. He went straight for uh, Sarah's crotch there. Speak to Reyes about the murders. And that is it, apparently, for this quest. So we got a bit of experience. And now we need to... Uh, a people divided. Go to the crime scene. That's back upstairs, isn't it? I think it is. If I'm not mistaken. Or not. Where is this bringing me? Yeah, it's it's pointing me outside, so give me a second. So, the crime scene. Pathfinder, we are nearing Karib this point. 
The I'll exile camp you. mentioned this is in the Mr. Vidal asked you to we investigate. We should talk to whoever's in charge and search the area for clues. There we go. It seems like there's two quests converging here. So, which is uh, very good in our case. Reyes, I'm at the crime scene. Great. I've got intel on our dead guy, Krogan Mail. Went by the name of Ziar. His frontal plate was pried off before he was shot to death. Ooh. Just killing him wasn't enough, clearly. They wanted him to suffer. Not one of mine. Do your scanning thing. Look for anything that might lead us to the killer. So that's is that still the uh the frontal what the fuck is this? That's not here. These footprints are distinctly Angaran. I count at least three attackers. The tracks make it look like an ambush. Fits the Rokar profile. It's a start. So there's the corpse. So that's the Krogan corpse. And Garn blood. Matches your Rokar theory, Reyes. So, shot to the head after the victim's attacker forcibly DNA removed his frontal plate. Political affiliations. Keep scanning. We need hard evidence. And there's something over here. Looks like a frying pan? Okay, the victim has been living off local wildlife on Kadara. And a footlocker. Wasn't interested in its personal effects. Anything else? Let's check out the data pads. With the recent reports of toxic water supply in the Badlands, the plans for large-scale settlement have been cancelled. Instead, this area will be sealed off and converted to a penal colony. Anyone who fails to evacuate does so at their own risk. He'll be considered a permanent resident of the territory and won't be allowed back in, Sloan Kelly. So we fixed that already because I activated the vault on Kadara in the meantime. I don't think anything else is here. Seems like there's something outside. I'm gonna check out there's another data pad over here. Personal log from Zier. New entry. More mines went missing. Damn scavs. Not gonna bother putting them out anymore. It was just a stupid precaution anyway. If someone's got the, the quads to take me head on, I welcome the challenge. Huh. So he was being annoyed beforehand. Okay, PB. Take it easy. So I'm sensing there's something outside here. The Angaran footprints lead this way. See where they go. Oh, okay. There's the murder weapon. And that's knife. an Angaran knife. Killer must have dropped it during the getaway. Something's carved into the blade. Multiple it's genetic Shavash. sources detected Krogan and Angara. A home filled with strangers becomes a prison. Sounds pretty Rokar. This inscription, along with the DNA and footprints, supports the theory proposed by Mr. Vidal Pathfinder. Let's pay our local Rokar a visit. You know where they are? I wasn't sitting on my ass this whole time. I'm looking at the place right now. Send me the coordinates. These murders stop today. Okay, let's go stop those Rokar. Is trying to be some kind of superhero? Why all the bones? Trying to be some kind of supervillain? Yes. Cool. Oh, this little thing seems to be the Rokar hideout. Okie dokie. Let's go inside. Ray is actually gonna show up. Or is he behind us as well? Because where is he? He was looking at the place. Reyes should be here. I detect no sign of Mr. Vidal, Pathfinder. Shall we proceed without him? That's not good. That's not. Don't move. Well, this is an ambush. Were we too loud? Shut up. Farah will deal with you. Farah? From Overwatch? Does he have a jetpack and rocket launcher? Ooh, there's a lot of them in here. I might be in a bit of problem, in a bit of trouble here. Hello. This doesn't look like something I can shoot my way out. I don't need to tell you what happens next. Um, I've got an idea. You're going to try to kill me and my friends. I've got a few questions first. No, you'll bleed. Just like the others. That's a lovely knife. So it's true. You murdered innocent people. Invaders and sympathizers are not innocent. 
I will protect my home. Hmm, I am a friend to all Angara, though. Don't let your hate poison you. We can coexist. Like here on Kadara. Sloane lies to my people and uses them for power. I'm not Sloane. She would have killed Axul. I showed him mercy. I don't care. Okay, then. Thank Not you, so Vidal. You're late. I've got a good reason. You'll see in three. Don't just stand there. Two. Two. Kill them. Oh, that was a bit early. Still mad. That was a, a roll. Die. Die? Seriously? And she died. Who is bleeding? That's one in the face. And there we go, that's the final one. Leave the Rokar hideout. Seems like a plan. Although I do want to check out if there's anything of use in here. Especially now that I upgraded my, uh, the amount of items I can carry, by the way. Um, there we go, container. Copper and Angarn Meditation Crystals. This looks like a, a loot container with nothing in there. Okay, let's exit this place. I do hear lots of angry noises. The streets of Kadara are safe again. You did good, Ryder. Thank you, Mr. Vidal. Don't worry. I let all the important people know who to thank. Yeah, I hope it makes a difference. Maybe the Exiles will see the initiative in a new light. Anything's possible. Admit it, some of that was fun. Yeah, it wasn't terrible. Some of it. I knew it. You're all right. Thank you. Don't be a stranger, Pathfinder. We won't. So that's a people divided complete, and that adds five more percentage to Kadara viability. Which is great, but let's check out the uh, quest log and do our next Kadara quest, because we can do another one. Look, the source of the angry, angry screams. Prowls, an Iroch. So next up, it looks like Rhea still has need of us. So let's go back inside here and see if we can talk to him. So there's a few things here. And let's uh, see if we... Because if Reyes is at the same position, he should be here again. Yeah, hello Reyes. Ryder, perfect timing. You saved me the trouble of looking for you. Jeez, what's with the romantic options towards Reyes? That is just weird. Everything all right? Something wrong? Have there been more murders? Nothing so morbid. This is actually a personal favor. A business rival, Zia Cordier, lifted cargo I was moving for a client. You want my help getting it back? We worked so well together on the row car job, I thought you'd be willing. Um, how did she steal your cargo? How'd this rival of yours get hold of your cargo? Her usual tactics. Got my middleman drunk, then stole his ship. Sounds like you know from experience. Please, I keep to a three-drink maximum when I'm on a job. What's the cargo? What did she steal? No idea. Client paid extra for privacy. Considering my fees, it must be valuable. You didn't check. Honor's got a price. Um, paid it. I'll help for a price. We cut the profits 50-50. 60-40. Final offer. Deal. When she stops in Kadara, Zia drinks at Krala's song. We'll start there. See if Umi heard anything that could help us. Okay, sounds like a plan. So we need to head back into the port. Uh, which means another loading screen. So uh, see you guys in a second. So we, before we go back into the bar, I think I'm going to have a little chat with Sloane and see if she doesn't need any help because she's part of, uh, well, the problem on Kadara, either for the good or the bad of it. Uh, so if I can, I should be able to talk to Sloane, yeah, over here, or well, maybe Sloane wants to talk. Our deal's done. What do you want? I think we can work together. The enemy of my enemy is... I'm not your friend, but you've proven reasonable. Ask your questions. Um... 
Tell me about your rivalry with the Collective. What does the Collective have against the Outcasts? People always want what they don't have. The Charlatan's thugs are no different. Who do you think the Charlatan is? My guess, a group of people. It'd take more than one person to run that outfit. You're not worried they're moving in on Outcast territory? If they make a play, I'm ready. Tell me about the Outcasts. So there's two groups on Kadara. We have the Outcasts led by Sloane Kelly over here. And then we have the Collective led by someone calling himself or herself the Charlatan. So the Outcasts. Give me the sales pitch. The Outcasts aren't for you. Wow. No hesitation. I handpicked every one of my crew. They've got either potential or history with me. You've got neither. Um, yeah, there have been others that doubted me. Addison said something similar. I'll prove you both wrong. Addison and I agree on something. <laughs> um, I don't think we need to know anything else. I'll let you get back to it. For now. Pathfinder, stay out of Kadara's business. This isn't your turf. And I think this Katen needed my help over there on the left. So let's have a little chat with him. Katus. Katus? Katus? He, he's talking to me, but... Here, Katus. Have, you've handled your fair share of cat. <laughs> Hard to get far in Andromeda without running into them. Yes, and? When Sloan took over, she slaughtered the cat who were here. There were mass executions. Public. So people would know that Kadara was cat free. There have been rumors of stragglers in the Badlands. If the tales are true, they need to go. So, I uh, heard any other cat-related rumors? What exactly are the rumors about the cat? Ambushes. People disappearing. Vehicles sabotaged. Picked clean for parts. Could be feral local wildlife, sinkholes, and gar bullshit. But there's enough people saying cat. And how were the cat here killed exactly? You said Sloan killed the cat here. What happened? The cat had the port locked down when we arrived. They were shipping Angara off for who knows what. People were scared. But the place had potential. So we fought the cat for it. And we won. You saw the decorations outside. That's Sloan making sure everyone knows she's the new power. I'll consider uh, clearing I'll out about the cat. Checking out the Badlands. Excellent. You're welcome. So help Katus with the cat on Kadar. So that's part of uh, settling on Kadar, which is good. Which is very, very good. And then, is there anything else I can do here or do I just enter the bar? Doesn't seem like I have a second marker now. So I'll head inside of uh, Krolos or Skrolos Song, the bar, and uh, see if we can check out the evidence here. Hello? Ah, oh, there he is. You look like you're waiting for someone. That's my line. Ugh, you want a drink or a room? <laughs> Information, actually. <laughs> that was nice. That'll cost you more than a round of drinks. My friend's good for it. Um... Hmm. Fine. Put it on my tab. See? <sighs> what do you want to know? Zia Cordier. She been around recently? You mean your ex? Yeah, she was here. The plot thickens. He never mentioned Zia was her girlfriend. Uh, she's not. We drink together sometimes. I drink with a lot of people. Anyway, she was here? Yeah, met with a Solarian. Shifty guy I'd never seen before. Maybe it was the charlatan. Maybe it was. Anything's possible. You overhear their conversation? They were planning to meet someone at Spiris Ledge. Thanks, Umi. Love the group Whatever. of uh, drunk Solarians in the me. background. If you check the meeting there. spot, I'll follow the collective lead. Doubt Zia was meeting the charlatan, but you never know. Got it. I'll call you when I get there. Thanks, Ryder. Let's keep it friendly with everybody here. Go to the meeting spot at Spade's Ledge. I don't think, yeah, I need to swap uh, out my active quest log, but uh, I'll see you guys there in a second. Spirit's Ledge, we're pretty much here because the uh, we're already at the correct location, but it seems like we need to head a bit further. I'm gonna take the wide route here because there's a lot of uh, no one's structures here. Guess we're too late. down there. Let's look around. Maybe Zia left something behind. Ooh, this looks like a lot that's happened. That's not natural. Gotta be a way to get inside. 
Sam? The lock is controlled remotely, perhaps by something nearby. There's a hatch here. I think I found something. Looks like a wire. Maybe this will get us inside. There's a wire leading from the hatch to over here. Oh, there's a terminal. Here goes nothing. Did it do anything? Uh, I don't know. Okay, so the dead drop is a bit further away. There's a there hole go. in here. A data pad. Okay. Reyes, I found a data pad with what looks like a nav point. Must be where Zia's hiding the cargo. Probably left that behind for the buyer. Um... Why make the buyer come over here? It sounds overly complicated. Whatever happened to just going to a store? Sloan takes a cut from all official sales in Kadara. Gotta get creative if you want to go around that. Did you find anything on your end? The Salarian is a fence. No direct connection to the collective. My guess is Zia met him to find potential buyers. Let's follow up on those coordinates. I'll meet you there. Okay then, and Drac is really, really angry at whatever this is. Okay, it's been smacked with a hammer, so never mind. Um, we're gonna have to check out that nav point. So yeah, again, give me a second. So we should be getting pretty close to the nav point, and I think it must be that structure over Party there. Party started without us. Okay. Doesn't seem like there's anybody here. Although there is a ship over there. Let's head inside. Ooh. Help me get this open. Okay, hello Reyes. It's empty. This is a setup, isn't it? What if this was all just some elaborate trick to get you here? You mean there was never any cargo? Bravo. I knew you'd figure it out eventually. Zia. Hi there. You could never resist the big payout. Oh, wow. What can I say? I'm a greedy man. That's why you don't have any friends. You're selfish. Um, get to the point, please. Skip the small talk. Why do you lure Ray is here? He's been taking all the good jobs in Kadara. It's gotten more than my attention. So what? The local smuggling union got together and decided to take me down? Something like that. Ah, uh, shit. Move in. Okay. Oh god. Oh god. Eat a little of this. There we go. There's one. And there's the lovely redhead taken care of. And another headshot. A fluke. An explosion. That was clear out. And another 5% to the to Kadara viability, which means that probably this is done? Okay, no resolution of some kind? Reyes that wants to talk to me? No? Okay, guess that's it for these two quests then. You're welcome, Reyes. God damn it, ungrateful man. But with that done, I'm gonna take a little break. When we get back, we're gonna finish off the rest of the Kadara based quests. And uh, yeah, if you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.